There are over 258,000 Catholics in the seven counties of the Diocese of Syracuse. All benefit in some way from the many programs and services supported each year by the Hope Appeal. Your gifts impact our faith, our family, and our future. When you make a contribution to the Hope Appeal, you are directly helping somebody, somewhere, in some way in the diocese. Our faith. Most of us have our parents to thank for the gift of faith that they gave us when we were baptized. That is just the beginning of a lifelong journey of faith, and many steps of the journey involve programs that are funded by the Hope Appeal. The Hope Appeal supports the training of lay ministers, hospital chaplains and pastoral ministers, spiritual retreats for men, women, and young people to recharge their commitment to the church, Catholic TV, which allows 15,000 homebound sick and elderly to participate in Mass. Our family. Strong families are the foundation of our diocese. The Family Life Office works with over 50,000 family members each year. The Winberg family, parishioners of St. Paul's Parish in Rome, share their faith as a family. And it's important for us to come as a family as much as we can. I was able to go through all the sacraments right here at St. Paul's when I was young, so it's nice to be able to be in the same community and share that with my family. Alyssa joined the music ministry to better express her faith. I love music and I love Jesus and I love being able to celebrate Jesus' life and God. And so being able to sing about that and putting two things I love together is just really a good experience and I love doing it. Faith Formation organized a religious art show featuring works of art created by parishioners of all ages. This was a great way for younger parishioners to express their faith. Andrew Bowman submitted a tattoo that he sketched of the Immaculate Heart. His grandparents joined him for the art show. It's probably easier to express myself through my art more than words. Through art, you can give a vivid picture of how you are expressing your faith. I think it's important to me to take an active role at my age now because then when I'm older and I have a family, I'll be a role model for them in my faith, so then they'll want to follow in my footsteps, and then it'll just be like my entire generation as a family will all follow in the steps of faith. Everybody who belongs to a parish is touched in some way by the Hope Appeal, whether they realize it or not. As a diocese, we honor couples celebrating landmark anniversaries during our World Marriage Day liturgy. World Marriage Day here in the Diocese of Syracuse is a wonderful celebration. In our cathedral, we have groups of people, uh, 25, 50 and more years uh, married. Um, I'm sure they've had challenges and they've had difficulties, but they've been faithful to their vocation. And we want to celebrate that. Bob and Joan Picconi of Binghamton were part of the celebration. They've been married for 60 years and have six grown children and nine grandchildren. Bob said the ceremony brought him back to his own wedding day. We've been immersed in our faith and we turn to it together and individually. And then in later life, when uh, one of our children uh, had cancer and then when my wife went through cancer. So we've used our faith to get us through these tough times and the good times. My parents being married for 60 years is a big inspiration. I think my parents being devout Catholics and us going to church all the time and praying and sitting together for family meals, that, that's a big thing in our house, is sitting together for meals. Our faith is a big part of our family today. My granddaughter now is a lector. She was an altar server, and now my grandson is an altar server. I think that my parents and my grandparents definitely influenced everything that I believe in, and I know that I wouldn't be who I am today without them. We help members of our family we may never have met by offering a helping hand when it is needed most, resettling refugee families, providing shelter to the homeless, providing food and clothing to those in need, counseling at-risk teens and troubled adults. Pope Francis said, how marvelous it would be if at the end of the day, each of us could say, today I have performed an act of charity toward another.
Faith Formation at St. Paul's organized a baby shower for Mary to benefit the Rome Hospital Clinic. People who attended Mass on the Feast of the Immaculate Conception brought gifts of diapers and baby supplies. Like all communities, we have uh, families that um, have a difficult time making ends meet. They are so very thankful. I, I, their, their faces just light up when we help them in any small way. A little gift pack, diapers, and uh, infant items, it really does help to relieve parents at a time when you know they don't know how they are going to make ends meet. So it's all about families helping families. Our future. The future of our church lies in the commitment of our young people to live the Word of God. Your Hope Appeal contributions support the Office of Vocations to shine a light on the mystery of religious vocations, Catholic schools, which teach 4,500 of our children, faith formation classes for over 21,000 Catholic children attending public schools, preparation for the sacraments as our youth grow in their faith, Newman Ministries. The Newman Center forms a community, a community of people with like values. And uh, I think that we perform a great service uh, in our Newman Centers as we try and prepare college-age people mostly uh, for a life of faith in the future. What the Newman Center does and provides for the college students is it provides a place where we can, we can do something meaningful together. I came to the Newman Center and I found a community here, a community, a family, a group of people who I can really connect with. And the Newman Center is just a home, really. These students from SUNY Oswego's Newman Center volunteer to give retreats to high school youth who are preparing to be confirmed. In several of the exercises, the students learned how their faith connects them and how they support each other in their faith. That activity, it proved that you're not alone, and it just like really relates to what's going on in our lives right now. Pope Francis is a great one for telling us how it's important to be companions to each other on the journey of faith, and I think our young people are doing that. Admiration for Pope Francis is something the students had in common. He's certainly ignited an excitement in, in the younger church, I would say. And he wants to accept everyone, and that's really what I think we should live like and uh, accept everyone, love everyone. And uh, I even chose my confirmation name as Francis because I, I love the way he's been teaching. You know, the young look up and they look forward to having these heroes in the faith and they certainly see Pope Francis as being one of them. We asked the high school students how they felt about being confirmed. I chose to do it because I, it's my turn now at this age to become a bigger member in the church and do my part. All of the other sacraments before this have been all my parents' decisions. It's been, you know, them leading me through my Catholic faith. In confirmation, it's, you know, really your choice to step up and see if you want to mature in the Catholic faith. I know that I'm ready now. As for the future of their faith, Colin recalled the vow he made when he was confirmed. I vowed at that point in time to serve God's people. Um, and, and I take that very seriously, despite any doubts or, or questions about my faith that I have. Um, I will continue to do that no matter what, and I will continue to try my best. It has always been a part of my life, and it will always be a part of my life. Um, with my future kids, with my future husband, I will, it will always be a part of my life. My faith is my core. My grandmother passed away recently, so it, I needed my faith to get through that. and. Um, Faith branches out in a lot of different ways in family and loving and it's, faith is everything. We asked Maureen Giacondo how she enjoyed her role as confirmation coordinator. I love it. I love every minute of it. I love watching the kids grow in their faith and share it with each other. Um, they just, they come in in that one ninth grade level and they're scared and they're, they're afraid, but by the 10th grade and you can hear them today, <laughs> they're excited about their faith. Well, I think the young people are just terrific. They're a sign of great hope. Uh, right now, they're the young church. They're not the church of the future. They're the young church. But when you work with these fine young men and women and realize they're the ones going forth, and if they're going to be the leaders, we'll be OK. At this time, I want to take just a moment to thank you most sincerely for all that you do to help the people of our diocese through the Hope Appeal. 
be assured that you are in our thoughts and prayers each day. And we give praise and thanks to Almighty God for your goodness to us and to the people of the diocese. Thank you. Know of my prayers today and every day. Our faith, our family, our future. Please give generously to this year's Hope Appeal. Together in faith, hope, and charity.